Ghost Facers, because you can't remember the last time these guys were actually in the show, which actually was season nine, and I don't even remember that at all. Hey guys, continuing once again with the retro reviews of Supernatural Season 1, we are talking about Hell House. Now I know the outfit I'm wearing is a little odd, I'm actually off to go shoot a wedding, ergo why I'm wearing this. This episode actually is probably one of the more standout episodes of this season, and it's because it introduced the humor aspect of this show. Up until this point, Supernatural had had some humor here and there, but it had really been some like kind of tongue-in-cheek sort of stuff, very, very minimal in terms of its serious content. And this episode, it turned it on its head, and it made the humor much more of the priority, not just between Sam and Dean doing their pranks together, but also just how the Hell House works, how the Mordecai Ghost works, obviously the introduction of the Ghost Facer characters, and getting the different stories from the kids after they went into the Hell House at the beginning of the episode. The editing during these interviews is really quick, it's really banterful, and it just shows how much of a story can be twisted and turned out of proportion just from different people even though they were there to witness the same thing. This episode was in fact directed by Chris Long who never did an episode again for this show. He actually went on to do a bunch of different ones. He worked on Man in the High Castle, he did uh, The Americans, but he's never really done a lot of episodes. He's just kind of like a one-off guy on a lot of different shows so the fact that he did this this one episode and it still stands the test of time in terms of the memorabilia of the episode, considering there's been 15 seasons almost in total, that's pretty good for this episode. I did enjoy the pranks, I did like how it wasn't over the top. Admittedly now they're a lot tamer in comparison to how the humor of the show has developed, but at the time it was pretty funny. The itchy crotch powder, the super glue on the, on the beer bottle, the thing from the restaurant. I find this episode very funny. I like a lot of aspects of the episode. I do like how they really don't know what they're doing and that little tongue-in-cheek with the Blue Oyster Cult. I find everything about this episode pretty funny. I think the only thing that doesn't make it a perfect episode for me is just that it's a really good episode, but it's a really good filler episode. There's nothing that really advances the story or advances lore. It's just a lot of really interesting little ideas with a lot of good humor in it. And I do enjoy this episode quite a bit. I think it is definitely one of the better ones of this season so far. And as I said, it set the pathway for what Supernatural would develop into as the show would progress. As with the last episode review about Shadow, I asked you guys to give me your comments about this episode, so I'm going to read some off right now. This one's from Megan B. I love Hell House. I think it's one of the first episodes they started mixing more comedy into the show, and I love the brothers pranking each other. The ghost facers are funny too. I would like to see them in season 15. This comment is definitely a nail on the head. It's definitely when this show started to develop more of its comedic edge. We got this one here from David D. Simone. Hell House is a great concept of for a supernatural episode that pays off incredibly well. It is an entertaining and fresh, and the ghost facers are awesome. And we got another one here from Kozner. Great review. Just rewatched Hell House, and what a classic comedic episode. Sam and Dean's pranks, introductions of Lulup, and of course, ghost facers just made this episode stand out. Side note, I really like the sequence where the brothers are interviewing different kids about the house the fast cut portion made for good comedy with their replies. Also, Mordecai looks pretty creepy. Admittedly, he does look a little creepy, a little funny, actually. His makeup, uh, depending on what you're watching it on, his makeup really comes through. It's just some weird rubber plas plastic uh, aesthetic on his face, so it's kind of funny. Oh, and there's a little one here from Tom L. Hey, buddy, hope you're feeling well and would like to send you beer that's actually good. Not that you were drinking in this video. This was a great episode. Looking forward to reviews of older episodes. What a contrast to recent seasons. Eagerly awaiting season four reviews, my favorite season. Well, thank you, Tom. That's really nice of you. Um, yeah, definitely want to show more of an, uh, another beer on this episode for sure. In the end, my final rating for Hell House is a six out of seven. It is one of the best episodes for sure of this season. It's not one of the best, and I, it just loses that point because it's a filler episode. But otherwise, it's a really good episode, and it does have a lot of merit to it. Next episode review will be about something wicked, which is interesting considering season 15 is on its way. So make sure to give me your comments about what you remember about that episode, what you liked about it. Admittedly, I am going to try and do these reviews quickly. I know that 
with Supernatural coming to an end, I have taken my sweet ass time reviewing the first season, so I want to try and finish the first season. I know I won't finish it before season 15 starts, but I want to get to the end of it fairly soon. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.